Uh, how much longer? If you're waiting for a food delivery to arrive or a download to finish, this might be a simple question to answer. But when you're running workflows in the cloud, it's just not. That seemingly innocuous question is actually a minefield. Let's say that you're running a distributed workflow spread across dozens of servers and regions. Some steps are sequential, some run in parallel, some run from beginning to end without issue. Others stall unpredictably and have to be rebooted. And every single delay can ripple outward. So when you ask how much longer, you're not asking a single question. You're asking about dependencies and order of operations. You're asking about parallelism, bottlenecks, and a host of unknowns hidden in the logs. And answering that question with the wrong estimate has consequences. Wasted compute, missed SLAs, and angry customers, to name a few. The question is, is it even possible to get this answer right? Is it possible for us to predict the remaining time of a complex workflow with any meaningful amount of accuracy? In this paper, the authors are trying to do just that. By surveying the available options and benchmarking them against each other, they evaluated five different encoding techniques and combined them with nine deep learning models. Their goal wasn't to invent another model, but to find out which representations of workflow events actually lead to the most accurate time predictions. On today's episode of Journal Club, we're going to walk through their methodology, their process, and their findings. And more importantly, we'll explore what this means for anyone trying to schedule cloud resources with precision rather than guesswork. If you're already subscribed to our email newsletter, then you'll be getting this full episode delivered to your inbox in the next few hours. Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English.